Welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Linden of The Fresh Linden and today I'm very excited for today's video because I finally, finally, finally decorated. Um, I had pulled the summer box out a while ago when I was looking for my spring stuff that I could not find. If you remember, I was so upset about it. My husband finally found that box. Um, so next year I'll be able to use it. <laughs> but anyways, I'm so excited. I also included my pineapple salsa recipe. It's one that I like found on Pinterest years ago and I've totally adjusted it and changed it. I feel like I make it a little bit different every single time, but it's a really great recipe. Every summer, everyone asks me to make it. Um, my mom requests it, Caleb's grandma requests it, Caleb requests it, like everybody wants it. So I make it um, pretty much every summer, a couple times at least, especially if we have like parties and stuff. And it's really fun because I make it and keep it inside the pineapple. It's just the cutest way to serve it. And my husband likes it best served that way anyways. So I'll be sharing that recipe with you. Right here I'm just rinsing off a lot of the, the veggies. I do stand there and hand cut everything ex except if I, unless I add onion, which this time I did not use onion. It does call for purple onion and I, or red onion, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I usually do use it, but they didn't have any when I went to Aldi this day. So I ended up just like using the, um, Oh no, I can't remember what they're called, but the scallions, the other onions there. I do have a white onion out, but that's because we're having tacos for dinner, and I knew, know my husband likes them on top of the tacos, so that's the only reason why I have that out. I ended up not using any of it. White onion is too strong to use, like, pineapple sweet, and if you have the light flavor of the red onion, it does help, but I liked it better personally without it. I don't even like onion. It triggers my heartburn really bad, so I don't even like, to, well, raw onion especially, so I don't even like to eat onion anyways, and I try to avoid it, so not using it actually, I feel like, I liked it better. I like the taste of it better. Um, and it's kind of odd, like the original recipe is just, you know, plain and simple salsa, like tomatoes, red onion, um, pineapple, and I don't know, like a straightforward like salsa recipe like that. But I like to add avocado, which if you're thinking pineapple and avocado sounds kind of a, a little bit weird, but it actually is a really good mix. I like it a lot. I like throwing avocado in my salsa. so. That's what we're doing today. How I'm cutting this, okay, I've done this different ways in the past. In the past, I've literally just like cut the pineapple in half lengthwise and cut through the leaves and it is a pain in the bottom, I'm telling you right now. The way I did it this time was so much better. That's so that I could have like two pineapple bowls essentially, but this time, the way I did it this way is how I'm just gonna do it forever because I just cut off that half and then I have a deeper bowl on the one side. It worked way better um, than how I, have done it before so I liked it this way remember like I said like every time you make something even if it's something you make all the time like make little adjustments and improvements each time and you'll get it it'll be better and better every time also I'm no professional at cutting anything especially pineapple um, it's a good day if I don't like nick my finger or something you know what I'm saying so just like ignore my skills be impressed okay if you're if you're not <laughs> I know they're awful but like you know when I speed it up it looks a lot better than the struggle I had in real life but you know so I'm just gonna chop this piece of pineapple up um, another tip is that I usually have a can of pineapple accessible just in case if your pineapple isn't juicy enough or if it isn't like sweet enough I usually use jalapenos but this time they only had serranos at um, Aldi so I used serranos I didn't add them to the salsa they're like on the side my husband can add them as he wants because I obviously didn't want any of that heat um, I just get heartburn way too easily and I don't want to trigger any of that. I do like spicy, but I just tend to avoid it um, for those reasons. So I'm just going to chop up this pineapple and like I said, I this salsa is really, really, really made with love. You could just toss it all in a food processor, but 
I don't like to do it that way. I like to hand chop everything. Plus it's also like trying to perfect my like knife cutting skills anyways, like practice, 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 right? So um, I like to hand cut just all of it. I have like the things that make it easier that you can just stick it in and it'll chop it all up or it'll, you know, like I said, I have a food processor, um, I have a blender. Like I have all that stuff that can make it easier and faster, but this pineapple salsa really like, there's a lot of love that goes into it. A lot of like, I don't know, like I also like, I like to like control how big and how small the pieces are and stuff. And the thing about this salsa is that it is going to get juicier as time goes on. Like if you're making this for a party, typically when I make it for a party, I make it the day before and then I put it in a big Tupperware container in the fridge and I let it sit and it just gets so juicy. Like the pineapple just releases more juice. The tomatoes somehow release more juice. Can't explain it to you but you will like see it and you'll notice it because I show you um, in different stages as it's going and you'll notice towards the end of it, it is really, really juicy. And I didn't add anything, I didn't add any water, I didn't add any juice, but that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you have to check because sometimes I do, will, I will pour like pineapple juice from a can in there if it's not making enough juice or if I added like too many like tomatoes or too many other ingredients and the pineapple isn't coming through. I like to have a can of um, pineapples there as well just in case I need it needs a little extra something or if I do add the jalapenos or add too much heat I can offset it with a little bit of the sweetness of the like pineapple juice from the can so if I'm making a lot of this like this is just like I'm just doing one pineapple and just making some for my household but if I'm making some for a party I typically will throw a can um, of like pineapple in there it doesn't matter like I'll, I'll get like the pineapple um, like slices the round slices I'll just chop them up and add like the juice stuff like that it's a lot of tasting as you go it's it's like I don't have a specific like exactly exact down to a science it's very like I put time in this I put effort into this I tried it as I went to make sure that it was like good I don't know I'm not really like I can like look at a recipe and see what other people use but I rarely the only time I'm actually measuring things out is if I'm baking because I feel like that's an actual science. Cooking is a lot of um, trying, tasting throughout, seeing if everything's like, you know, the right like texture, the right flavor, things like that. Um, I feel like it's not as complicated as baking is. <laughs> so baking, I stick to a lot of measurements, cooking, not so much. Um, and salsa, like how can you mess up salsa? It's literally just a bunch of raw ingredients put together. Here I'm hollowing out um, the other side of the pineapple and I'm being very careful not to get too close and not to get um, to the like outside of the pineapple. That's why like I, I'll cut little slits and then getting the middle part is the hardest part of all of this because you know it's like so hard. Um, I use the spoon to like kind of scoop out the sides that way I keep enough that it'll hold everything. One time I did like accidentally slice through it and then like it was such a pain because it was just leaking like salsa juice everywhere and I had to like make sure it's on a plate and stuff like that um because I had accidentally like poked a hole in the pineapple part but I get it as cleared out as I can get this middle part out it takes a lot of time takes a lot of patience but you can get it because you want this to stay like preserved and beautiful so that way your salsa can sit in it and look beautiful it's it's a great piece especially for a party we had like a Trader Joe's party at one point every war uh, for my husband a couple years ago and I made the salsa served it in the pineapples it was perfect for that kind of a theme like we all wore like Hawaiian shirts got a bunch of like appetizers from Trader Joe's I put Trader Joe's like the brown like grocery bags all over the place as decorations and stuff is hilarious um, and it looked great like it was like a tropical thing and like for like your summer parties 4th of July is coming up like all that stuff this kind of salsa is perfect so I have this all hollowed out I have the whole like there of the pineapple here it looks great now what I'm gonna do is stick it on a paper plate and I'm gonna put it in the freezer this is just gonna help like first of all make it cold you know you want to serve your salsa I don't know I like it a little bit a little cold not so much like warmer room temperature and so that's gonna help with that and then also because um, it, when it's cold it helps bring out a lot of the, a lot more of the juices and everything and then it's gonna help kind of like harden your pineapple to make it a more solid um, like bowl basically for you <laughs> to use so I'm dropping up my um, tomatoes I, I usually use aromas for this so that's what I'm using here um, just because they have a good flavor they don't have too much juice they have like the right amount and I'm just gonna 
dice these up as well as I can, as well as my skills will let me. Um, I do. I don't like a super chunky salsa. I like to be able to scoop it and get a lot of everything, a little bit of everything on the chip, not just like a chunk of tomato or something, you know. So I do try to slice everything the same size um, and not super thin, but small enough, basically. I'm gonna give that a little mix. So these are like your two juiciest elements. Also, I usually use red bell pepper in this, but I decided to use green this time because I like the flavor of green better. Um, and I like the green a lot more. And also I didn't, I wanted some more, like some other kind of color since I didn't have the red onion to use. So green bell pepper it is. I thought it added just a good amount of like under layer of flavor instead of a whole lot. I do prefer green bell pepper over all of the rest of them. The limes I had sucked. <laughs> I could get like barely any juice, so I ended up having to use both of them and I was like fighting with them to get lime juice out. Um, I have lemon juice as well, but I wanted to use the fresh limes and I also did zest from the limes, um, which usually I like do not do. So using the zest definitely helped um, with like a little bit of citrus as well. I kind of like limes better than lemons for this salsa because I feel like the limes pair better with the pineapple. And then I just chopped up some fresh garlic, a lot of fresh garlic because I like a lot of fresh garlic with like any kind of fresh fruit or vegetable. I'm only saying that because this is salsa, but you can see it's starting to get nice and juicy. Um, and then I did put the, um, the scallions, those are scallions, right? I did put the white parts in there. I'm going to cut up the chive parts to put on top. And then I'm just cutting the avocado and scooping it straight into the salsa there. I, I Again, I do the avocado the same sizes that I have, the pineapples and the tomatoes, the same size as everything else. So you can get a little bit of everything in, in each bite. Um, a lot of this I was chopping up extra too because like I said, we're having tacos. So a lot of what's going in the salsa is going to go in our tacos as well. And then I also have cilantro. I do a nice healthy amount of that. Again, some half of this is going to go in there and half of it is going to go for the um, tacos. And then the peppers, I don't cut. I cut the tips off and then I let my husband deal with the rest <laughs> because I don't want to get it all over my hands. I've definitely cut up jalapenos and gotten it in my eyes before. Now for the seasonings, I use granulated garlic, more garlic of course, a little bit of chili powder. I use um, some pepper, I love a lot of pepper in it, salt, and I also use onion powder, cumin, some garlic salt, smoked paprika for a little color, and this red garlic seasoning that I got at Sam's Club, and I I'm gonna mix it first. I'm gonna put all those seasonings in in a second. I don't use a whole lot of the chili powder or the Cuban or the smoked paprika. I use um, a lot of pepper and I use a lot of salt and a lot of garlic salt because it's salsa. It can take a lot of salt and you will get salt from your chips too. So think about that. Keep in mind, usually the kind of chips we buy are like super salty. So I tend to do a little bit less salt um, if we have those chips. This time we didn't have those chips. The ones we had were not as salty. So I did give a little extra salt. And you're like, Sam, you did real garlic and you're doing granulated garlic and you're doing garlic salt. Yes, I am. I think of garlic the same way that they say, you know, you should bake with ginger. You should do candy ginger, fresh ginger, um, you know, ginger powder or whatever to really get a good ginger flavor. And you're like baked goods. I kind of like do that with garlic as well because you'll get it in different tones and notes the fresh garlic is going to be a bit more spicy the granulated garlic is going to be a bit more um of like a lingering flavor and the garlic salt is just going to help with the salt flavor because sometimes i feel like i do regular salt and it's still missing a little bit of salt flavor i usually give it the garlic salt to help with that and now that i've got everything in there i'm just gonna mix it all up again and then I'm gonna taste it and make sure that this tastes how I want it to taste or adjust my seasonings accordingly. Again, it's still gonna needs to sit and get a little bit more juicy and everything like that. Like by the time I go to finally serve it, like the bowl's like filled with the juice. It's like everything has released all of its um, like tasty flavor and it all comes together really well as like, see I'm showing you right there. There's a good amount of juice in there. Like it did not have that much at the beginning. So I did not end up using any can of pineapple or anything because this one worked out just fine.
And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I felt so lame doing this. <laughs> well, you gotta have to, like, I have to try it so you can see my face. So you can see, like, hey, it actually tastes good. So I'm just trying it. All my seasonings are good. Um, I had my husband try it. He says it's all good. I was ready to eat it all right then, but dinner wasn't ready yet. Um, so I've gotten my pineapple back out of the freezer. It's nice. It's not completely frozen or anything like that. It just feels good. It was in there for, I'd say, probably about an hour. And then um, I'm just scooping my salsa in there so that I can serve it. And I'm just going to stick some chives on top. And then I put it on this cutting board that I had just gotten that day um, that I'd cut everything on because there's this little like side pocket here. And so if I was going to serve this at a party, I probably would just put it on here. I also have like white trays I've put it on before, things like that. It is cuter when you stick it on a tray, obviously. People are going to spill salsa out the sides and things like that. So it's nice to have it on a tray. And this was absolutely delicious. I'm gonna make it this way again next time because this is just my my favorite way that I've ever made it with the green bell peppers with you no know, like crazy onion um, or anything like that. I didn't get heartburn. Oh, and then I had this mess of cleanup. <laughs> so enjoyed this because after getting done with dinner and everything, Zeke had made this mess like way earlier in the day. He's very like a hands-on little guy and I had noticed him playing in the dirt outside and I didn't want him to, he was like, sticking it like putting dirt on the concrete and I didn't want him to do that so I said you want to play with your sand and your slime and everything he likes all of it out at once as you can see play-doh slime sand everything and I just kept ignoring the mess and not cleaning it up so I finally had to clean it up and I was like this is why when I if you watch my spring cleaning video of the dining room this is why I had to pull the table apart pull the leaf out scrub everything because the table is the only place I let him do this at and it gets in between all those leaf creases and stuff. It's so fresh, so like annoying, but oh well, it's going to happen. So this is a mess that happens pretty often, especially now that he it's the summer and I don't have him in school for the summer. He needs like that time to like sit and like play with his like hands and things like that. So I try to give him a lot of time doing that, but it always makes such a big mess for me to clean up later. Oh well, the things we do for love. Moving on to the fun part, the decorating part. First, I need to unbox this stuff. So I went like onto my Amazon app. I went to Amazon Outlet and I found a few things. I knew that I needed to replace some of the couch cushions, like the green ones with the pom-poms. Like a lot of the pom-poms have fallen off. There was like one of the ones with the tassels, a couple of them with the tassels. The tassels had gotten pulled off and I was like, this couch already like isn't that great doesn't look like super nice and then these pillows aren't helping so I decided to get I like these like fake leather ones because number one they're cooler for the summer as in like they're a cooler temperature you know um, the other ones were like more like velvet so they were just really hot oh that's to go on the dishwasher um, that's a dishwasher magnet but I got the leather ones I'm like also the cat hair and the dog hair is not gonna stick to the leather one so I thought that was great and then it matches kind of that one leather pillow that I have so I just got this I got a set of four and then a set of the two leather ones I think the set of four was like $21 and the set of the two leather ones was like 15 I also got um, these are candles flameless like well battery powered candles basically because I'm gonna be setting up the dining table later and I've already changed it because it did not work out the way I thought it would <laughs> But, oh well, that happens. I also got those two like tiny plants. It was like five bucks, so those two tiny plants. I like to put those in the kitchen just to help with adding like some greenery, but something that like I'm not gonna kill. Up in the windowsill, we have a bunch of like real plants, but these I can put like in other places just to help with greenery. Uh, green's my favorite color. Um, and then this wild bead, me bead mess you're seeing, this is the candlestick holder. It has like, I've been eyeing this for a while. It first came on Amazon, it was like $17.99. I was like, well, that's cute. And then it went up to $19.99 and I was like, well, now I don't want it. <laughs> and then it went to like $21.99 and I was like, yeah, it's still cute, but I still don't have it. And then it went down to $11.99 and I was like, okay, I'm getting it. Um, because it's literally been in my like saved in my for later spot for like months so i decided to finally get it since it went down to 11.99 um and i have this like wood tray wood well it's not really a tray but this like wood board piece that you can see with the bead, beads on the side um you'll see it later i wanted to i had that on the well i wanted to put that on the dining table in the center because i thought it would look really nice and then i thought that the wood beads like candle holder would fit on it better but it's actually a bit it's actually a bit too long so it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to <clears throat> but that's okay I already went to Hobby Lobby and got I found some other candlestick holders on clearance I'll show you guys that later finally got the dish rack I was saying how I wanted a dish rack because I was always tired of having like dishes just all over on the side of the sink it was never on the side um, next to the sink and so this way I can just wash 
like one when there's just dishes filling on one side it's also kept people from filling up both sides of the sink and it's like helped me be like okay i'm gonna get all these dishes done now instead of waiting for everything to fill up right so i've actually been on top of the dishes more there's been less dirty dishes and everything can just dry over the sink instead of like taking up all this counter space and just feeling so cluttered with dishes all the time at this one this sink um drying rack i found an outlet for like i think it was 5.99 or 6.99 so i was like yeah i'll just take that one again like everything i got I think the pillows were obviously the most expensive thing this magnet i got because everybody's always like are these clean or are these dirty everybody's always asking me because i'm the one always doing the dishes so i decided i'm finally just gonna get a magnet and put on there this was like i think like eight bucks which i feel like was a lot but at the same time this was something I really like needed so I don't have to constantly tell people or they don't have to like find me or ask me or they don't stack dirty dishes with clean ones or whatever um, the only problem with this is that the baby likes to take it and stick it in the windowsill in the living room don't know why it's so random but it's fine so basically there's a magnetic piece that you stick with the sticky side onto the dishwasher and then that is a magnet that you can take off and flip around so that worked out nicely so then of course since that cute thing was on there I had to put my um, favorite tea towels out one on the dishwasher and I always put the other one on the oven on the stove I don't think I did that this day though but the, those are my two favorites I got those at Ikea a long time ago then while I was down there I noticed how dirty the, um, behind the covers here is where the trash can trash cans are oh my gosh I can't talk on one side is the trash and on the other side is the recycles and so it was just looking really gross and dirty and I was like wow you're ruining my shot so I had to clean those down really quick it's the summer again so I'm using Mrs. Meyers honeysuckle um, multi-service cleaner on everything and I figured out that I can get like the big bottle of the concentrated stuff I was so excited because I've already gone through like a bottle well two really of the honeysuckle cleaner because it just smells so good and I just love how it leaves everything smelling good when I get done instead of like like harsh smelling like harsh chemicals um, so I like using it so I was so excited to get the concentrated cleaner and then shout out to my sister for helping me like with my camera but now I have dark shots <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna watch this too and see that but anyways that's a dark shot but I show it to you later in a minute you'll see everything come together all I did was up there with my shalom sign I just stuck a couple of uh, one of those little plants and the stuff that used to be on the dining table up there that's all I got this basket and these flowers at Michael's weeks ago and um, was, this is part of their like summer stuff that they had half off so I grabbed this I just wanted some more like flowers but I'm not really like a super I feel like I feel like I can never do fake flowers properly. They're very difficult. I like these green ones that hang over. don't know what they're called. But here's the shot. I just put the little plant up there just for like some greenery and something else to be with the sign. I got that basket next to the window because it's always so boring there. And I've got the um, stuff on the dishwasher looking cute. So this whole area is feeling a lot better. Just more like pulled together um, on that side. And then how I decorate is I put things somewhere give it a few minutes decide if I like it or not and then if I don't I move it I got these candles I got two of them I got these from Michaels as well that same time I went they were in the summer sale that I got I just thought they were so pretty with the dried flowers and I've had these two like I think they're candle holders um, that I'm putting them in I got those at Hobby Lobby like a long time ago and I've just never had candles in them so I was excited to put these candles in there because they're just so cute they have the flowers in them they're so pretty I'm going to finally move the let's get cozy sign um, and I put a different sign up there and then yeah I just mess around with stuff a lot and I move things a lot and I decide I like this here I don't like this here that's just how decorating works chase the thrill make up the way as we go live for the moment lose control We're in this together, we both fall down Doesn't matter if 
sun goes up Cause we will still be high when the lights out changed the fireplace a little bit I had these little two candles and the purple things I put up on the candle holders I added the ship um, the ship is like I like putting it out in the summer all the time because it's it's something that my husband's um, great-grandma gave him and it's because his great-grandpa like used to work in ships and stuff like that and I think great-great-grandpa I think her dad works on ships too so it's just cute so I, I love to put the little ship out like that it's kind of like a family um, thing and then I ended up moving the candle holders the tan with the purple just wasn't doing it for me for summer I like to have a bit more color out I have a, my be, be kind uh, plant out I love to pull that out for the summer because like the rainbow colors and stuff just looks great so this was how I ended up leaving it I'm pretty sure that's what the mantle still looks like and then I want to decorate up here and get this like straightened out this was just like getting so full of stuff um, this is kind of a catch-all space as well because it's right when you walk in the door so and I also wanted to finally use, I've been using that as a bowl, but it really is supposed to get like one of those baskets that you hang up. And I wanted to switch it out. There's a different basket that I always keep in my summer stuff that's like a woven, like more like a box basket. And usually I stick it on the, on the fireplace, on the mantle, but I knew it wasn't going to work with the um, big um, artwork that we have there. So I decided to put it here instead. And I liked it a lot better. And then I could hang up the other bowl. So I like how this entryway came out as well. There's the entryway, my welcome with the pineapple sign. Pineapples are like my thing. Um, and I've tried to like put them away more and only pull them out during summer <laughs> and be like better at that because they are like more of a summer thing. But that's why you see my pineapples that are, you've seen me decorate above the kitchen um, where, when I put the wallpaper up. I got these off of Amazon a while ago, See the Good. I thought they were just so cute to put on the wall. I actually really like seeing it there. It's just a good reminder to try to give people the benefit of the doubt and see the good in situations, see the good in people, things like that. I hated that there from the second I put it there. I knew I hated it there, <laughs> but I left it there because I didn't know where else to put it yet. I love um, You Are My Sunshine. That's the song my, um, my mom and I would sing to each other when we were little, when I was little. And I sing it to my babies and Enoch loves to sing it. So that's why I have the You Are My Sunshine sign. It was also like the theme of Enoch's, I, not Enoch, I just looked at Enoch, of Ezekiel's baby shower. And that's when I got the, I was given that sign, You Are My Sunshine. So I love to put that out as well during the summer. And it's like sentimental too. And then I just have a couple like these wreaths I got at Target in like the dollar section like years ago. And the little sign next to the wreath I got at Target years ago as well in the dollar section. Same thing. Actually, I'm saying years. I think it was last year. 
And then there's this cutie. <laughs> I just got them sunglasses and he he just he loves wearing hats, sunglasses. Like if he finds something that he knows can go on his wrist, all of a sudden that's a bracelet. Like Enoch is just such a goof. But I'm gonna put the Wii away and stuff in this like little cabinet I have over here. Um, there's like a lot of video games and stuff in here. It needs to get like boxed up and organized properly. We're working on it. Um, my husband and his, and his dad were working in the garage and I was, we were like talking about where to put things like that and I was like, you totally have. They have so many cool video game consoles and video games and I'm like, this should be like showcase, but in the garage, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> because you could have like the video game console and all the controllers and you could have all the games next to it you guys could set up a tv out here and then you know when you decide like i want to hook up this game like you have a spot to actually hook it up uh and like be able to play it like that would be so cool so we'll see if that actually happens and works out soon hopefully um i have my wax warmer i have it on because it always you've heard me complain about the carpet millions of times so i've been using the wax warmer and then I have another one of those little signs. I got it during like, I think springtime um, at Target last year. And then I just had this like mango candle that was sitting up here, but I kept forgetting to light it. It's a summery smell, but I kept not lighting it. But the marble candle stand it's on, I got that at Aldi for five bucks the other day. And then that other little like vase thing that I use over there, I got that in the dollar section at Target as well. And then the wax warmer I believe is from Walmart. That was a gift from, um, my husband's grandma when we first got married i think it was she gave that to us so i just think that this looks so nice now and then um ezekiel was very offended but i took down his potty training thing that's because he's used it already it's like filled already and then he's still not completely potty trained so like jokes on me huh <laughs> and then i get to pull out my pineapple what are these i'm gonna think of it in a second placemats pineapple placemats that's what those are called i've had these as well these were on our our list when we got married um six years ago and they were at target and they've been like kind of they're kind of stained up and stuff but oh well this is me trying to make this work it does not work but this is me trying to make it work and then when it didn't work i was like well what am i gonna do um and i just decided to just like get the candles out and take it from there this candle set so the original ones i was looking at were just plain white and they were like 14.99 for a set of like six i think four or six something like that these ones that look like big trees um were six bucks so i was like yes i'll take those and then um that's why i got these ones they're a little bit heavy they feel like waxy on the outside they definitely look like a candle on the outside but the batteries go on the inside oh my goodness and they're definitely heavy that's enoch hitting my camera with a chair anyways i got them to balance i think i just need to loosen the knots of the beads and kind of give it a little bit more room and it'll balance a little bit better then i'm trying to decide like do i like this or not it looked just so empty with just this but i was so bummed because i've been waiting to get this candle holder because i just thought it was so cute so i was like kind of bummed out at this point but i decided to just stick the batteries in there get the candles on um take a look at what they look like when they're on and see it it's just that middle part felt so so um just empty to me and the only like table runner i have is the one that i'd already set up on the uh entryway that cabinet in the entryway which i end up taking it from there anyways i'm gonna um I found a different one that I have that's old. I don't know if I'm going to make it work. I was looking for a different one at Hobby Lobby the other day and I couldn't, that's where I got the original one. Um, and I just didn't see one that I liked. I want one that's pretty neutral. I don't want a whole lot of color or anything. I love like tassels at the end. I know I could find one on Amazon. I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> I also want to make one myself because I can crochet. I can make one. Um, I can make one that, you know, matches and looks how I want it to look. So I might just do that instead. I don't know. Um, but I got the candles on. They, they have a remote, which is cool. Or you can just push down on them and there's like a button underneath that turns on. It's pretty cool. So then I decided, let me see what it looks like with the board instead. This is our happy place sign. I got that at Michael's, um, like last year. And then I have these little pineapple candles. My sister got those for me years ago. And then I'm just trying to decide what I want to do here. So here's the table, um, plate. It's not a placemat. Okay. 
this thing. I know I just said the word and I forgot it already. There's that. And because I just felt like there was so much middle space missing without, yeah. So anyways, like I said, I've already changed it a little bit. <laughs> I still have the candles on there, but I found these other candlestick holders at um, Hobby Lobby that were on, on sale for five bucks. So I got two of them. <clears throat> That'll, I'll probably show those in the next video um, or the one after that actually and show you those because I'm not going to be able to add it to this one because I need to get this video out. We've been very busy, but I got it to balance and I do still like it, but I ended up not in this video, but I did change my mind. I took it off of the table and I'm actually going to put it probably I think in my bedroom maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm going to buy different candles um, to go in it. I think I'm going to have to buy ones that aren't automatic because they're just too heavy. I'm gonna have to buy like regular candles that are not heavy. I don't know if I could even find that, but we'll see because with this and you have to put two AAA batteries inside of it and it's got a whole thing. These are pretty heavy and I knew that they wouldn't last sitting here. They're going to constantly be falling over and stuff like that. So I left it for now um, and then I hung my basket up like I wanted. There's just this, these like the spot next to the stairs. It's always so boring and ignore the stairs, ignore them. My husband finally got all his stuff out in the garage. Like I said, my father-in-law has been working on the garage, so he was able to get a lot of the stuff that's been in my way in the living room out, which is great. And then I also was able to get rid of um, a lot of the kids' clothes, some toys, baby items, like playpen I don't need, and like vibrating chair for the baby I don't need, things like that. I was able to finally like get rid of, and then I just have a couple bags of baby clothes to take um, and donate. So that's great because now I can finish getting like all of these toys that are just taking up space um, out of the way because the kids have a lot of just like small toys. There's just too many for them to play with and now they love Legos and there's a gigantic box of Legos like plastic giant plastic container box in the downstairs closet there of Legos that they like to play with now. So I'm like, shoot, I need to get rid of some of this stuff. I'm gonna take a lot of it to my mom's house where they play. They have a couple toys over there, but I need to take some more stuff. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that. And then I'm just, I decided to set up my tray next to the sink here. This side just felt so bare to me. So, um, and also this ends up being a catch-all space when there's nothing there. So I think, okay, if I decorate here, it won't be a catch-all space, right? <laughs> That's what I'm going for. So I decided to put my tray here. Those white and green floral placemats I got at Ikea um, last year, or two years ago, something like that. The Stay Sunny little wooden sign, I got that was the, that's the top of a candle and I thought it was too cute to throw away. I put the remote to the candle batteries in there, some more pineapple flowers and a couple of the little plants. And then this that little white planter, um, the like, Thing holding the lights that I got at Ikea as well a couple years ago and then there's those little pearl string lights so I'm gonna put dinner away really quick because I want to finish getting a couple more decorations out in the kitchen I just feel like when it's decorated it's easier to keep clean and it's because like you want it to stay looking nice and decorated so you put more effort into keeping everything clean at least I've been keeping the kitchen like really really nice lately we actually haven't even I think today's the first day where we've like been at home for a good while um we only have to go run a couple errands today but we've been really really busy my husband had taken this week off work and we um so we had our own little family vacation we went out of town for a couple days and um then we had like my mother-in-law's wedding so we had wedding stuff to do for a couple for like two days now that all of that's done um, we're kind of just taking a breather i could finally do my voiceover this video has been like edited with music and everything i've just had to do the voiceover for like i think since last week and i just have not been able to do it um which stinks like because then a whole nother week went by without getting a video but it seems like everyone liked my closet um organizing decluttering video so that's fine i just let that rate let that wave ride and now i finally get to get this one up which i'm so excited about this one um, so again, just doing a little bit of light cleaning so that way I can get some decorations out, making it smell good in here because the living room feels so uh, well as clean as it can. Like I had to keep picking up a bunch of toys just so I can get like shots, like after shots of things. I was like, my gosh, I could literally cannot. Like my husband had this day off and my kids um, were 
like happy about it but just going crazy um so i decided to kind of like i'm trying to cover up the the plugs you know how they they make it look so easy on like pinterest or tiktok when they're decorating and stylizing their like kitchen counters i'm like first of all the fact that you can get all of your appliances put away is baffling to me um second where do you find all the stuff that's like high and hype that like hides all your nasty plugs um so there's that so i'm scooting this stuff over it was also nice to have this kind of like since i moved the um my cookbook over to the other side it just felt feels a lot less it feels a lot less cluttered when you're cooking now so it feels it's nice i like it so i ended up putting my board back there to cover up the plug since i didn't have anywhere else to put it since i'm not gonna use it where i wanted to and then i also have a couple eiffel towers in my summer decoration decorations that i'm gonna go ugh, my goodness that i'm putting out as you can see eiffel towers are the other things i was obsessed with and collecting so i have a lot of eiffel towers of the whole eiffel tower collection um Caleb proposed to me at the Apple Tower. Like, yes, we were in Paris, France. That's crazy. And so that is it for decorating, pretty much. Everything's out. It feels great. Thank you so much for watching. Stay fresh, my friends.